Sarah Ferguson has responded to the rumors that Prince Andrew was compelled to leave his residence, Royal Lodge in Windsor, and she has spoken on the situation. In response to the rumors that have been circulating about Prince Andrew being compelled to leave his residence, Royal Lodge in Windsor, Sarah Ferguson, has addressed the situation. It comes at a time when it is being reported that King Charles is removing private money for security on the estate, which is estimated to cost £3 million annually. In light of this, it is possible that the Duke of York will be forced to vacate the home if he is unable to create the financial resources necessary to pay for the necessary repairs to the property as well as the security payment. In spite of the fact that they divorced in 1996, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson have maintained a cordial relationship and continue to reside together in the 30-bedroom home that is estimated to be worth £30 million. Regarding the rumours of eviction, Sarah addressed them in an interview with the Spanish media outlet, Hola TV, as reported by the Mirror. However, she did not confirm or reject anything specific. When she was speaking to the media, she made a surprise statement that was only six words long. Don't always believe what you read. On the other hand, after being pressed more on the subject, she asserted that she was not privy to the conversations and stated to the interviewer, I don't know. I am able to take each day as it comes. Early in the year 2023, King Charles reduced his brother's annual allowance to a total of £249,000, which effectively prevented him from managing the Royal Lodge, which consisted of 30 rooms. Following the bombshell interview that Prince Andrew gave to the BBC in 2019, which focused on alleged connections to convicted sexual offender Jeffrey Epstein, this comes as a result of the interview. Every time allegations of impropriety were made, the Duke fiercely and repeatedly denied them. The late Queen removed the honorary military responsibilities that Andrew, the Duke of York, had been serving in, and he stopped using the title His Royal Highness in any official capacity. This occurred in the year 2020. During that same period, Buckingham Palace issued a statement that read as follows. With the Queen's approval and agreement, the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. Additionally, there have been rumours that Prince William would kick Prince Andrew out of the Royal Lodge. William has long held a grudge against Andrew for being unwelcoming, when he first introduced the then Kate Middleton to the royal family, said Richard Kay, a reporter for the royal family, in an interview with Mail Online. William also feels that his father has been too soft on him. It has led to speculation that it is William who is pushing his father to evict the Duke of York from Royal Lodge so the Waleses could move in. Following the signing of a 75-year lease, Prince Andrew has continued to reside in Royal Lodge, which is situated on the Windsor Estate and encompasses 98 acres of land. He has been a resident of the property for more than 20 years. According to sources who spoke with the son, Andrew is seen to be somewhat of a recluse in the neighbourhood. It is believed that the only time he leaves his house is to ride his horses or play golf, both of which are activities that he takes great pleasure in. One of them stated, You used to see him going up to the stables to go riding, and he would talk non-stop to the grooms, and they would hardly ever say anything back to him. You couldn't help but wonder what they learned from it. Even when they inherited the two corgis that belonged to the late Queen Elizabeth to add to their five Norfolk terriers, he continues to keep a close relationship with his ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson. She frequently joins him on dog walks in the grounds.